so this is pocketbook 650 ultra this model came out 10 years ago i think in 2014 and i bought it on facebook market from a guy who said that it was working and suddenly it stopped working but the screen was intact so i bought it for like 24 euros and i decided to give it a shot oh by the way did you know that reversible micro usb is a thing now there's still a lot of micro usb connectors so it's pretty cool. So the first step was to charge the device and even see if it's charging or if it's completely broken. I wanted to be sure that it charges properly, so I used socket charger and the power LED turned green, which is a good sign. So I left it charging for about two hours. I kept it on the charger and tried to start it up. Unfortunately, neither of the wake up methods worked. I tried holding the power button for two seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, one minute, even two minutes but it didn't wake up. All right, it's time. The secret method rich people don't want you to know. Do the same thing again, but plug the pocketbook into your PC. And it didn't work. I seriously hope that it's going to be that easy. Yeah, let's open it up. I tried to open the cover with my hands only, but it was not going anywhere. So there are three snap-fit connectors that I had to push down with a flat screwdriver. Afterwards, it went easily. Be careful not to lose the power button, I almost did. You need to pull it pretty hard, so be careful not to damage your screen. Ta-da! I did a quick visual inspection to see if everything is connected and if I see any burns. My next step was to disconnect the battery to give the device a hard reset, but the connector, I don't know what kind of connector it is, but I couldn't unplug it and I ended up kind of destroying it and ripping the wires out. So yeah, it was not irreparable damage. I could still plug them back in. However, it didn't matter much because the hard reset didn't work. My next step was to check if the battery is at fault here. The plan was to salvage the circuit board and the wires from the original battery, then find a different battery with the same voltage, 3.7, and connect this test battery to the device to see if it starts up. Unfortunately, the only 3.7 battery that I had at my disposal was from an old Galaxy One, I think it was, phone, and uh, the state was questionable, but I had to try it anyways. I had no other choice. So after I had the two batteries on the table, I measured the voltage. Yeah, I believe a battery shouldn't go under a certain voltage. And if it does, it doesn't function properly anymore or doesn't function at all. So if I measured like nothing on the first one and 0.4 on the pocketbook one, I'm pretty confident now that the battery is the problem. I decided to keep the original over current, over temperature and over whatever protection circuit board on the Samsung battery and just add the wires so I can connect it properly to the pocketbook. I desoldered the wires from the pocketbook PCB and I soldered them onto the PCB of the Samsung one. One note here, do not touch with the soldering iron the battery, just stick to the PCB. There's risk it will blow up or ignite. Uh, yeah, and also the black wire goes to minus and red wire goes to positive plus. When I was done with the soldering, I hooked up the battery and let it charge for like two hours. While it was charging, I did some measurements with the multimeter this is actually something I should have done also with the original battery still plugged in into the pocketbook because I want to find out if the current goes through to the battery. There was a possibility that the fault was in the micro USB connector or somewhere on the way. So I definitely should have done the multimeter voltage measurement when I opened up the pocketbook first. I have no idea if the 3.6 volts or the 0.7 amps is enough for charging. I was just glad that it's doing something. So after like two hours of charging, I wanted to try to power it on and whoa the screen changed so yay it's not dead well it says that the battery is dead but the device seems to be working so i was not confident that the battery is definitely the issue so i just needed a replacement easy right yeah just go to aliexpress and order one i was however in a bit of a situation because the original connector from the battery was still inside the pocketbook and I didn't want to remove it by force because I didn't know if I can find such connector on the internet and I didn't find any information online about the battery connector. So I contacted the support if they can help me and this is what they replied. The customer support team does not provide recommendations for self repairs and we are not selling spare parts for our devices. All repairs are performed by competent specialists in our official service center. Please note that the Pocketbook 650 Ultra was discontinued over seven years ago. As a result, the repair parts have been sold out and are not in stock anymore. Scroll down 
We stand for the green planet. Join us. So you don't want to give me the information, but you also cannot repair my pocketbook. Thank you, pocketbook support. So I took an educated guess and picked one of the options. Of course it was wrong. Yay, the battery arrived. The connector as I foreshadowed was wrong. I decided to pull out the wires from the connector and try to fit it into the original one. It didn't fit. The metallic plugs, I'm not sure if that's the right term, but the metallic plugs were too big. They are a U-shape and I needed to transform this U-shape into a smaller U-shape that is narrower and smaller. I tried first to find it down and then I decided to clip it. If this hadn't worked I still could have used the original wires and soldered them to the PCB or the wires of the new battery. I just rather wanted to use the thicker wires than the thinner ones. Or I could have ripped out the original connector from the motherboard and soldered the battery directly to the motherboard. But in the end I managed to properly fit the plugs into the connector. Now the moment of truth. I was holding the power button for like 20 seconds. I think two would have been enough. Ooh, yeah, it's working. Still a little bit nervous here, but then it went into the main menu, so I was super happy. Before I put everything back together, I used hot glue on the connector so the metallic plugs do not disconnect. I just had to make sure that the glue doesn't stick out too much, otherwise I wouldn't be able to close the cover. Then I used some tape to fix the cables. I took the adhesive double-sided tape from the original battery and reused it, and I also taped the remaining loose cables. For some reason I couldn't slide the cover fully into its place and then I found this. Dumbass. Fix it with the screws. Slide in the other part of the cover and we are done. Oh yeah, so the e-reader was 24 euros, the new battery was 8 euros. That's 32 euros for an old e-reader with Wi-Fi and front light. It's not bad, not bad. If you found this video useful, hit the like and subscribe button. It charges my pocketbook. All right, that's it.